What's up guys welcome back to the channel AML films and we out there thank you for tuning in today today we got a new guest introduce yourself hi I'm Frankie nice to meet you Frankie how old are you 27 where are you originally from um Northeast Philly home circle tell me a little bit about your childhood well, uh, I live, was raised by my grandma and my aunt. I have a sister, and I lived with my sister and my three cousins. I went to St. Jerome's, and um, for high school, I went to St. Hubert's. Um, my mom was, like, really in an LG all my whole life, and she smokes crack, too, so, you know, she wasn't really there, but when she got out, like, probably, like, four or five years ago, and she acts like kind of more of like my friend than my mom. <laughs> I haven't seen my dad in 22 years. But he'll call me like on my birthday and stuff. But that's really it. But he was in Florida and I haven't seen him. What are some of your favorite childhood memories? Uh, I don't know. That's hard. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess like maybe going down the shore and stuff with my family, maybe the shore house. So just spending time with them down there and going to the movies with them, just doing stuff with them because I don't really do stuff with them anymore. And what is your drug of choice? Uh, hard, well, cocaine <laughs> and uh, heroin. How long have you been using heroin? About five years now. How many bags of heroin do you use a day? Honestly, I really don't do a lot of that a day since I smoke more. Um, I probably do anywhere between like three to like seven. And how many? Like maybe 10 or 10, depending how many I get. But really, I'm not so much. I use a uh, hard more. How many jars of crack do you um, use a day? It really depends on how much money I, I get, you know. Um, but definitely at least 10 to 12. That's minimum. <laughs> How do you go about supporting your habit? Uh, different ways, really. Like, I mean, like, I, I do have people that, like, support my habit. Like, a few, like, people that I know, guys that I know. So, that's really how they give me money. So, how much do you spend average a day buying drugs? Oh, God. Anywhere between a... At least, I want to say minimum, like, three to five hundred dollars a day, minimum, to a thousand. So, every day, every single day. And how does crack make you feel? Well, I have ADHD, so it doesn't really make me, like, tweak out. It really calms me down, more so. So I don't get like that. I mean, eventually if I'm up for days, yeah, you're gonna start tweaking a little bit, but yeah, no, just to be real, that honestly calms me down, makes me calmer. How were you introduced to drugs? I 
really really like that. I'm not, um, I remember I smoked my first like joint of weed in um, the park down the street from my house. And then from there, uh, when did I start using perks? I want to say like my sophomore year is when I tried my first one, but I didn't even know what it was. And then after I graduated high school, I was just using perks a lot. And then got pregnant with my daughter, I stopped using everything completely. And then after I had her again, after she was like a year old is when I picked up perks again. And then after my daughter's father left me, he left with me for a girl that did heroin. And then when I took him back, I started using heroin. Have you been to rehab before? Probably like five times. Maybe more. Um, I just been dealing with a lot, and I guess people deal with shit in their own way, but everyone, I feel like, does something to, you know, deal with their shit, whether it's alcohol, fucking shopping, sex, everyone uses something. And I just choose drugs. Do you feel any shame or guilt because of your drug use? Yeah, a lot. Because I'm not there for my daughter like I should be. My daughter's seven and she just needs me and I need her. And right now I'm just being a terrible mom, so. Why is it so hard for you to quit? Uh, I don't even know. It's just like, oh yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. And then by, it's like, it feels like tomorrow is already over. By the time tomorrow comes, it's just, when you're doing drugs, the days just fly, fly by. And you don't even realize it. So, it's just. You always say, oh yeah, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do this tomorrow, and then you put it off, put it off, and by tomorrow, it's the end of the month. <laughs> What's a day out here look like for you? Well, depends. Usually, usually I'm with my boyfriend, but he's not around right now. But I usually wake up, well, I usually don't even fucking sleep, honestly. <laughs> I'll be up all night. If I sleep, I'll sleep randomly at who knows what time. Um, I'll go out, make us money, cop up, get high with him, do it all over again. And the cycle repeats itself. Depending how much money I get for every time I uh, call my friends and get money off them. However much money they can give me. Okay, let's get off topic a little bit, alright? What is your favorite color? Green and purple. What is your favorite movie? Um, Superstar. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that. It's really funny. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song? Uh, not really. I like a lot of different things. Songs. It's kind of a big one. What are some of your favorite foods? Um, wings, well done. Ribs from her back. What is your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. My birthday just passed. My favorite candy. I really like if it's something that's fruity. I like gummy worms with the sour worms, or um the gummy strawberries or peach rings. It's my favorite. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? I don't even recognize myself anymore, honestly. 
I love so much weight. But it's like everyone's like, oh, you look so good. You're working out. Like, no, motherfucker. Just make a bunch of crack. Like. When you was a little girl, what do you want to become when you grow up? I don't even know. It's not what I don't even know. What does art mean to you? Um, art can really be anything. It's a lot of different things. A painting can be art. Like, people show their art in different ways, you know what I mean? But, like, something, like, else could be art. Like, people could get a stick and say, this is art. You know what I mean? If you had three wishes in this world, what would your three wishes be? To get the fuck off drugs. For my daughter, to be with my daughter, and make her happy as possible, and just to have a good life. Last question, what is your message to the world? Uh, don't do drugs. <laughs>